Hello there, everybody. I hope you had a pleasant Christmas. Um, sorry for not uploading uh, my planned special, I guess you could say. I, uh, let's just say I lost the, the, uh, the file for it. Yeah, it was it was accidental. I apologize, uh, Daniele. That was my mistake. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But anyway, what's going on? I uh, hope you all enjoyed your Christmas. I know I did. Um, I got some, got some One Piece manga. Holding this upside down. Got some One Piece manga. I also got uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which is pretty freaking fun, I might ask. And uh, yeah, I'm all, I, oh, another awesome thing that happened. Um, if you guys remember that whole like PSN crash back in like uh, how long was that? Last year? I think that was last year. Yeah, it was. Um, I uh, I I like reconnected back to my uh, I like reconnected my uh, PSN account for like the first time in like over uh, I don't know like six like over six months six seven months and um i had yet to do all those free downloads that psn gave people so i went to the psn network and i'm like wait a minute you know i'm gonna see if like they have chrono cross and lo and behold they had it so i was like okay this is pretty nice and then all of a sudden like it was like oh crap i don't have enough money it was like you have a free cut you have a free credit i'm just like oh my god this is awesome i'm, pl I'm downloading this and playing it right now and i've been playing chrono cross since like oh for a good 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 I'm like 20 hours in, but technically it's more like 12 because I kind of leave my PS3 on a long time. I don't know, but I love Chrono Cross. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, finally, got, I was glad I was able to re-download it because we, uh, I don't know what happened to our original copy of it. Why am I talking about Chrono Cross? You guys probably don't even know what the heck that is or even care about it or like it. I don't know. It's a love-hate game. What is up, guys? I've got the Pokemon battle for you today, you know, because it's New Year's Eve. Um... I'm actually going to be going up to... Actually, I don't know what I'm doing yet. My friends are still yet to plan something. We'll figure it out eventually. It's going to be a fun night. But uh, as you can tell, I've got... I've just got a regular battle for you guys. Just a standard UU match. Um, against this guy I found on the Smogan server on PO. As per usual. And his name is... Uh, Test for Echo. Yes, that's his name. Um, yeah, again, I'm, gonna, I'm not really doing anything special for today but tomorrow i've got something incredible for you planned for you guys and i think that is actually yellow swallow just pm'd me back i hope that i hope he did i hope he just did yes he did awesome thank you thank you oh crap he's logging on right now um well i'll do the team preview now do my thing with this yellow swallow person because we got i got a little i got a special thing planned for uh you guys it's it's gonna be fun i'm gonna i'm looking forward to it uh, but anyway, let's look at the team preview. Um, as you can see, I am using a, uh, a new team I developed. You know, I'm I'm definitely gonna switch out Don Fan for Swampert as soon as it goes UU because it is going to go UU. I guarantee you. After this after this month of statistics, it's gonna go UU, and I'm gonna replace Don Fan with Swampert. But uh, as you can see, looking at his team, the one thing that really like scares me is that Machamp. But however, Weezing can wall it pretty well, and uh, yeah, pretty much this team was originally designed to um test out this. Uh, to like pretty much just use Weezing and Bisharp and UU and then just build a team around that and you know it, it works out pretty well so yeah pardon me I just belched right there but uh and so you're looking at his team like again the Machamp is the issue the Chandelure could be a problem if I don't predict correctly however that it didn't give me too much trouble the Darmanitan tank can hit hard um but again if I predict correctly with uh either Donphan or Chandelure I should be fine Galley does not scare me and Polion not really, Glagger does not scare me to the slightest, because it's A, not Gliscor, B, it's just, it's not as bulky as, well, actually, no, with the Violet, it actually is pretty bulky, but I have HB Ice on my Chandler, so as long as I'm able to switch in Chandler safely, I should be able to take this out, no problem. Um, I'm noticing that the one big issue, though, is, like, I need, like, a water, something that can, like, handle water types better on this team. I know, I mean, my Cordelia does have Storm Drain, but other than that, it's really... Nothing too special. But anyway, that is enough out of me. I'm actually going to go do my battle with Yellow Swellow first. And then I'll record the battle with you guys. So, anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys in about a second for you. Like, 20 minutes for me. 20 minutes to a half an hour for me. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to lead off with my Weezing, predicting the uh, lead of Machamp. He's going to bring in his Empoleonus first. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to bring in my Cordelia, predicting some form of a Surf. However, he just sets up his layer of rocks, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Don't really care, though, because I do set up my own rocks on the switch into Machamp. So pretty much, I'm going to predict the Dynamic Punch, bring in my Chandelure. However, he predicts my switch out, goes for that Substitute. Now, I don't want to get nailed with the Payback, so I'm thinking probably the best bet here is to go with Weezing and just 
take whatever he decides to throw at me, knowing that I can pretty much handle whatever he has. So, what I'm going to do now is break this up with the Fire Blast, which is pretty snazzy, may I mind you, as he goes for another Dynamic Punch. Now, I know he's going to want to sub here, so what I'm going to do is go for the Will-O-Wisp, which I'm hoping hits, because if it hits, it's awesome, because that eliminates a huge threat to my team, and it does, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah! So, he's going to set up another substitute that's perfectly fine by my standards. I can pretty much just keep wheezing in the rest of the time. I do snap out of my confusion here. And I go straight for the Teva, which I mean, does not break itself, unfortunately. He's going to go for a Stone Edge. However, that does jack squat to my Weasling, simply because, well, he's burned. And he's getting all that residual damage, which is just fantastic. So he's just going to keep slamming me with those dynamic punches over and over and over again. And, you know, I don't really mind that. You know, it's pretty, pretty snazzy. You know, I mean, the confusion is a little frustrating. I don't, but I don't think I ever actually hit myself in confusion, which is pretty cool. He's gonna go for another dynamic punch. He's almost dead, which is good. This is kind of a stally part right here because there's really nothing I really want to bring in. I mean, I could have brought in Chandler at any point while he was dynamic punching, but to be honest, I didn't want him to act, like get like a lucky prediction, go for like a payback and stone and do a crap ton of damage to me. But that's fine. So anyway, I'm going to switch out as he brings in Sand Chandler and bring in Toki. He's predicting the Shadow Ball as he predicts the switch in back in the Chandler, which is awesome. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Knowing that he's probably Choice Garb or Choice Specs, I'm going to let this opportunity to set up, I believe, a nasty block here, which is pretty cool. So I believe, I think, I think I try and get greedy here and go for another one. And I do, however, he does pack the roar, which does phase me out, out into my wheezing once again. But you know, I don't really mind that much, because I can pretty much slam this thing with a Thunderbolt and still do a moderate chunk of damage. Oh no, I Pain Slip first, then Thunderbolt. And it goes for the Surf there, and I'm thinking, okay, he's probably going to want to Surf again, so I'm going to bring in my Cradilly in an endeavor to... Uh, oh wait, no, I keep Uncle Ruckus in. Never mind. <laughs> I think I was just trying to Willow down with uh, Thunderbolt, but that didn't really work out to my advantage. So now I bring in Don Fan to bait him to go for the Surf, which I get the perfect prediction, pretty nice. I get that special attack range, thanks to Storm Drain. I'm just going to slam that thing with an Energy Beal. I hope it does a decent jungle to this thing. And, you know, 24%, eh, it's alright, but, you know, damage is damage. He's going to roar me out again, bring in my uh, Togi Kiss again. I believe I go for either the Aura Sphere, the Roost, or the Nasty Plot. I go for the Root, I go for the Aura Sphere, which is pretty cool. And uh, he's going to slam with an Ice Beam. does a lot of damage, which I'm not really liking too, too much. I'm not really sure what kind of set... Actually, wait, I know exactly. This is a specially defensive. What am I talking about? It's a specially defensive Empoleon. See, it's basically the only set that people use in UU these days. But um, as you can tell, Ice Beam's not going to be doing jack squats to me thanks to uh, me roosting and stuff. I am a defensive Nasty Plot set with max HP, max speed, like forward special attack. Anyway, I set up my Nasty Plot here. Knowing that full well that I can take whatever hit he decides to throw at me, I am going to go straight for an Air Slash here. He cranks out that overheat does 58% however because I am max HP I am able to take that hit pretty pretty snazzy like and I'm able to take him out with an air slash right there and then which is pretty cool and now Darmanitan that Darmanitan comes in I he goes for the flare bullets taking me out I think I just wanted I knew like Togekiss wasn't really gonna be that much use gonna have that much use anymore simply because I took out like his main, main thing Togekiss needed to kill so I'm gonna bring in Cecil Go for, I believe, a sub... Oh, no, I switch out, predicting a Flare Blitz, and then I bring in James Woods. Now, he brings in his Gligar, and I'm going to go straight for the HP Ice here, which I'm pretty sure he did not expect, because I don't think I've ever seen a Chandler ever run HP Ice. This is the first time I've ever done it. It works pretty nice, and, like, I don't really think I need HP fighting in UU. I mean, yeah, I don't even need HP fighting in UU. Like, shit, Chansey, blah, doesn't even do anything. Anyway, he's going to roar me out as I bring in, uh, my Acridilly again, and he's going to roar me straight into my, uh... Chandler. I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast here, hoping it'll kill, but it does not, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay, because really, also, I didn't really need Chandler either, either situation, so, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, I think that I can, like, essentially take out the rest of his team here with, uh, Bisharp here, so I'm gonna Sucker Punch, take out the Empoleon, Lickety Split, which is pretty snazzy, and he's gonna bring in his Galley here, now, I know he definitely don't want to take a, uh, a, uh, the Drain Punch here, or I, oh, no, I don't want to, uh, shoot, why do I, I don't want to have get fighting damage here, so I'm just going to bring in my Cordelia, die, be death fodder, so I can easily bring in my Dante and revenge kill that thing with a uh, an earthquake, knowing that full oh, well, I can easily take it out, because I am banded. Um, I'm not this typical offensive slash defensive rapid spinning set, which is pretty cool. And he's going to bring his Darmanitan as the last guy, so he's going to take me out from the Flare Blitz, that's okay, because pretty much at this point it's my game, because thankfully, thanks to the recoil damage, I can easily take this thing out with a Sucker Punch, and that is good game. Okay, you know, that was that was a pretty solid narration. Kind of unenthusiastic, though. Oh, well. Eh. Eh.
Whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guy, uh, the video today, guys. Uh, good game. Test for Echo. Um, I enjoyed our battle. I hope we get to battle again in the future. That'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can rate, comment, subscribe. And this is Infinite Trials. You're saying peace out, yo. Have a good one and happy new year. Bye.